Hey, you guys, I wanted to give you something real quick. Um, I know there's lots of things coming upon the earth that are causing fear in the hearts of God's children. And I just want you to be assured that the Lord does not want us to have fear, but to have faith. Whatever happens to our spiritual uh, well-beings is in his hands. But our flesh, um, you know, don't, don't fear those, Paul says, that kill the body but rather those that can kill the soul. So keep your eyes, your mind, your heart, and, and your flesh to the best that you can on the Lord Jesus. I think that when your spiritual well-being is um, walking in his spirit, your flesh will follow those steps. And um, in Acts 20, I wanted to share with you this one verse, um, and it says, But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. That's Acts 20, verse 24. Um, just meditate on that a little bit. If you're a child of God, that's what our, that's what our flesh is to be doing. We're supposed to be walking. The days are getting darker. We're going to be brighter. Jesus handed us the torch of light. We are now the light only through the power of the Holy Spirit that abides within us. Um, and if you're saved through Jesus, of course, you would get the Holy Spirit. So if you don't know Jesus and you're watching this video and today you say, you know what, everything else I've tried in my life isn't working out. Things are um, headed south on me and I've not tried, you know, walking with the Lord. Maybe that's something you should consider. And if so, you, all you do is you just plead the blood of Christ. Just say, Lord, I believe that Jesus died for my sins, that I want to walk with his spirit. I want him to come and live inside of me. I want him to be in my heart, and I want him to be my main focus in life. And you'll see that slowly everything else around you just kind of creeps away. It's not that it's, it's not as important as it once was. All those things and all those idols that we put before the Lord, aren't as important as they are when you start seeing the real um, meaning and purpose of your life and why you were created. Um, Jesus gave us all life, and in his spirit, there is power. He's the only power. He's the only one that gets the victory in the end. So why wouldn't you want to be on the winning side? Anyways, back to the news. Don't let these things bother you. Turn them off. Um, Jesus is coming again, and that's something that we should all be excited about and looking forward to. And everything else that's going on around us, that just shows us how close we are to seeing him again and him coming back for his bride. So I just ask that today that you be blessed. I ask the Lord Jesus to bless each and every one of you that watch this video. May you have an awesome day in the Lord Jesus Christ.